Um, well, first, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, as we often say, salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. salam. Welcome. Uh, my name is Molly Gray. I'm deeply proud to serve as the first and interim executive director of the Vermont Afghan Alliance. On behalf of the board, uh, the staff, it's my pleasure to welcome you today for this special office opening ceremony. We're deeply honored, Governor Scott, to have you with us and Senator Welch. I know it was a, uh, up in the air whether you'd be able to make it, but we thank the Senate for getting you home in time. We're also um, very pleased to welcome representatives from the Office of Senator Sanders and the Office of Representative Becca Ballin. I also want to extend a warm welcome to State Refugee Coordinator Tracy Dolan, and hopefully Amila from USCRI will be joining us shortly. But most especially, I want to welcome and recognize the host families and community partners. The host families are here. Thank you, Maria, our, um, Mary and Dan and Sarah and Michael and, and Sarah, two Sarahs, <laughs> um, for all you've done to support the board, um, to support the staff, and also to support me in opening the office. Finally, and in a moment, I know we'll be welcoming uh, the family of Drukshan Farhad, uh, Indari Hosh Ahmadid, which Hosh Ahmadid, which I understand means welcome. So welcome. We're here today because of all of you and because of the tremendous support we've received from state and federal partners. On September 30th of this year, the day that a grant was supposed to begin, we learned of a grant award from the US Department of Health and Human Services Office of Refugee Resettlement. <coughs> Our grant proposal had been selected uh, for funding through the Ethnic Community Self-Help, ECSH, program. The program supports community-based organizations helping refugees adjust to life in the United States. Through the ECSH grant, the Alliance will receive $250,000 a year for three years to provide direct and indirect services, including driving lessons, which originally had been uh, provided by Wazir and a, a part-time program officer and now be provided by a full-time prog program officer, Hamid. Uh, interpretation and translation assistance, which at first glance may seem like a small amount of work, but in fact it is the bulk of the work that we do. Um, legal rights training, which I look forward to helping to design. Uh, community forums, which means going across the state and meeting with a number of community stakeholders where uh, the Afghan community has been resettled in Vermont, and ongoing case management. The grant also supports the hiring of staff, Program Officer Drukshan Farhad, who you'll, you'll meet in a moment, and the opening of part of an office, which is why we're here today. I was overjoyed to learn of the notice of the award. I'll say personally, I wrote it at nine months pregnant. Um, I wasn't sure which was gonna come first, the due date for the baby or the due date for the award. Mm -hmm. And I was deeply uh, glad when we were selected. We were, um, we're now one of 20 organizations nationally and two in New England um, that will be working under this grant. I also want to recognize USCRI and especially the office of Senator Welch, Senator, for your incredible support in our application. Um, thank you for that. Uh, as I mentioned, um, we are one of a number of uh, grant recipients nationwide. What makes this grant and also this organization so interesting, I think, personally and so important, is that in our bylaws, the board is 60% a majority Afghan current or former refugee. And the same is true for the staff. This is an Afghan-led organization. My role is temporary. I'm here to help support and set up. In November, the uh, Alliance was also selected for a grant through the Vermont State Refugee Office, led by State Refugee Coordinator Tracy Dolan. The, the, uh, the grant provides the Alliance $200,000 a year for two years to implement an Afghan employment program and to support Vermont employers in becoming Afghan-friendly workplaces. The grant additionally assists with opening the office. So part of the office, Governor, thanks to you and thanks to Tracy and thanks to the state, is covered by the state and the other half covered by the federal government. The grant also allows us to hire a program officer, uh, Yasin, um, will be joining us very soon to run the employment program. 
so Governor Scott, Senator Welch, Tracy Dolan, community partners, thank you for supporting our work. But the truth is, this is not the work. It's not here cutting the ribbon. Um, the work is what we do every single day, and it's hard work. Um, to date, roughly 300 Afghans have resettled across Vermont, including in Brattleboro, Bennington, Rutland, Norwich, Montpelier, St. Albans, Burlington, and the surrounding area. And if you've worked with the refugee population before, you know this is unique. This means that our rural communities are now supporting refugee resettlement. As many here know, the needs remain tremendous, from housing and transportation to interpretation and immigration assistance. Housing. I'm just going to stop and just say housing a couple of times. <laughs> Governor, I know you know, and the legislature's not here to hear it, but we look forward to passing on our concerns to them. And of course, um, immigration is an ongoing challenge uh, for the community. Finally, while much of the world has moved on from Afghanistan, for the Afghan community, the impacts of U.S. withdrawal are fresh. They remain deeply, deeply fresh for the community, with families still torn apart and Afghan immigration cases still backlogged. The situation and the work is hard, it's sad, it's sometimes infuriating. I want to take this moment to thank the staff, uh, Yasin and Drukshan and Hamid, for choosing this work and for choosing the alliance. This work is not easy. It takes grit, it takes determination, patience, deep compassion, and an endless, endless desire to navigate crisis, complicated issues, and solving problems. We often joke we try to solve problems, not create problems when people walk into the door. I also regularly tell the staff that in this work, um, our motto as, an, as a team is to take care of ourselves, to take care of each other, to, to treat everyone with respect, and to have fun in the process. Over the last several weeks, as we've moved from the virtual office to this space, you'll soon see we're still making, uh, um, and we're still making our own. Uh, and I want to pause to recognize uh, Akabe uh, Management Company in Colchester, the, who donated the furniture. The office is still pretty bare, but we have the essentials, tables, chairs, Wi-Fi, and a lot of grit and determination. Um, We've talked a lot about working as a team in our respective roles. I often analogize our relationship as a team and the relationship that we have with you as a bridge. It's a bridge with the Afghan community on one side and Vermont on the other. Vermont with, a willing, with willingness, um, opportunities, and challenges. Each of us, including all of us in the room, have a role to, pay, to play in building that bridge. So I want to thank you all again for coming today, uh, for helping to build, build the bridge, and for making this office a reality. It's now my pleasure to introduce the co-founder of the board, uh, co-founder of the organization and board president, Wazir Hashimi. Dan Barkoff, who's also a co-founder, works in the emergency room and is um, saving lives today, so will not be joining us, but it's worth noting his incredible role. Wazir, the floor is yours. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, everyone. As Molly said, my name is Wazir Ashimi, the co founder and board president of Vermont African Alliance. I would like to welcome you all to the grand opening of our office here in beautiful downtown Burlington. I would like to send a special thank you and welcome for Governor Phil Scott, Senator Peter Welch, Tracy Dolan, and our executive, great executive director for the work that she has been doing and, and did so far for the organization. And thank you so much. And our board members, VA staff, host families. The Vermont Afghan Alliance has been a passionate commitment to help Afghan refugees. Uh, since our funding one, one year and a half ago, the VA has sponsored arriving uh, classes hosted and celebrated culture events and assist Afghan refugee with employment, doctor appointments, translation, and transportations. Our goal is to help every Afghan refugee feel empowered to live a healthy, prosperous, happy life in here in the Green Mountain State. I myself made the journey from Afghanistan to Vermont in 2013. I was a young man from Bamiyan eager to study abroad. I was privileged to 
attend Rice Memorial High School in South Burlington, Longtree School and in Dorset and Castleton University. Along the way, I fell in love with my adopted home. In July 2021, I went back to Afghanistan to get married. After journeying back to Afghanistan for a wedding, my wife and I returned back to Vermont, only to learn that we might never see our native land again. Within weeks of our wedding, thousands of Afghans began fleeing from the Taliban regime, and hundreds of them arrived in Vermont. And I felt a deep desire to help. And I went to, with Amela to Burlington Airport to welcome the very first Afghan refugees to the state of Vermont, and I wanted to do more. On April 2022nd, Dr. Don Barkov, a former Navy SEAL who served in Afghanistan, and I formed the Vermont Afghan Alliance. Our primary mission has been trying to address some of the gaps in service for Afghan resettling in Vermont. This includes hosting uh, hosting cultural events to keep the Afghan community connected. And also, and also we have also through our arriving program assistance, we help dozens of Afghans obtain arrival licenses. Right now, over 300 Afghans settled in Vermont. Our work is just beginning. This morning, uh, this morning, at the opening of our very first headquarters, I stand gratefully before you as the president of this nonprofit organization. Humbled and honored to have your support in our ongoing mission to help every, every Afghan individual and family not only settle, drive, and flourish in Vermont. In Afghan culture, there's a timeless allegory that beautifully captured the sense of our efforts. It says, drop by drop is a river form just as each drop of water gradually shape a river. Every effort, every kindness have to create a lasting impact on the lives of those we seek to help. This morning we gather here, let us remember that through our collective actions we, that we can bring about meaningful change and create a brighter future for our, our Afghan brothers and sisters. Together, Drop by drop, we have the power to shape a river of compassion, resilience, and hope. And I would like to thank you, everyone, for coming here, for being here, and thank you again for support and help. And Amela, thank you for coming. Khalil, thanks. And I will give back this stage to Molly. Thank you. And now, I'd like to. Um, welcome up and introduce the very first program officer of the Alliance, Drukshan Farhad. Uh, Drukshan is a graduate of Norwich University. We met in the spring. Um, and at the time, we had no idea whether we'd ever be able to hire staff and how things would grow. We um, are so pleased that Drukshan was patient with us. And we're so delighted to have her part of the team. Drukshan, come on up. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Molly, and thankfully my family were able to join in, so that's good. Um, good morning to everyone gathered here, and good evening to my family joining us via Zoom from Afghanistan. In true VAA fashion, I extend a warm welcome with Khush Madid in Farsi and Khara Alast in Pashto. While I'm often cautious about generalizing notions about the entire Afghanistan, one trait I don't mind highlighting is the Afghans' well-deserved reputation for hospitality. Trust me when I say this, throughout my entire life, at every gathering I have attended or hosted, regardless of the labor-intensive hours spent in the kitchen preparing a feast with numerous options of appetizers, main courses, and desserts, there's almost always a humble acknowledgement from the host expressed in words like, I'm sorry, I couldn't prepare much. <laughs> <laughs> Following this, guests spend the next five to ten minutes consoling and reassuring the host about the variety of food provided. I share this 
so no one is caught off guard for what's coming. <laughs> now, on a more serious note, Afghan hospitality is deeply rooted in selflessness. The act of giving away the best of what you have without expecting anything in return. What we put out there, however, always comes back to us. With that being said, given the welcoming nature of Vermont, I believe with a little help, the Afghan community will find its place among us. Thus, I would like to take this moment to express my gratitude to Vermonters who have embraced the Afghan community with open arms. One of the most rewarding aspects of my job is the opportunity to meet and collaborate with incre incredible individuals possessing an amazing sense of community building. It warms my heart to receive collaboration requests from various organizations during community meetings. The genuine concern, like a teacher reaching out for our organization's assistance for an Afghan student and their family is truly remarkable. Equally inspiring is witnessing the dedication of those willing to volunteer their time and patience. And then the patience demonstrated by service providers, even when face, faced with shortages. All of these keep me going and I hope each and every individual who have taken part in welcoming this community know that they are making a positive difference. And as for our organization, I hope that we grow into a force that fosters and preserves the spirits of selflessness and hospitality among our community. Thank you. Thank you, Trikshan. It's now my pleasure to welcome someone who does not need an introduction, Governor Scott, the governor of the state of Vermont. Well, thank you very much, Molly, and thank you all for coming today. It's great to be here to celebrate the opening of the first Vermont Afghan Alliance office. I've always believed the United States and Vermont have a moral obligation to be welcoming of people from around the globe. We're a nation that was founded by those seeking a better life new opportunities, protection from oppression, and more. We owe people the same sense of security and opportunity as we did decades and centuries ago, because refugees, immigrants, and new Americans add to our strength. They make our communities stronger and more vibrant. And in Vermont, it's essential we continue to do our part. My administration has been at the forefront of this um, alongside Tracy Dolan, who's done a great job uh, in Brattleboro, mm -hmm. asking the State Department on several occasions, both under the last administration and this one, to increase the number of refugees for our state. And once they arrive here, it's critical we support and welcome them with open arms. That's why the opening of this new office and the founding of the Afghan Alliance is so important. I'm proud of the work that uh, our administration, in partnership with Senator Welch and the congressional delegation had done to get us to this day. But none of it would have been possible without the hard work of the Alliance itself, its leadership, and its members. Over the past few years, we've welcomed about 300 Afghan refugees to Vermont, with about 150 now in the Burlington area. I've been so inspired by your stories your perseverance, and your courage. You face challenges along the way that many of us will never fully appreciate. But we're so grateful you're here with us now and that we can call you fellow Vermonters. I also want to thank the hardworking staff here at the office, most of whom are refugees themselves, for stepping up to support our community. Your work is so essential and will make a real difference. I also want to uh, assure the entire Afghan refugee community and have them know we want to hear from you. We want to know what we can do to make the transition to our state better. 
and how to help you thrive here in Vermont. We also want to learn from you so we can improve as we welcome more people to our state in the future. Your voice will be key and you're always welcome to make it heard because that's our job in government and mine as governor to listen, learn, and help people make lives better for all those who call Vermont home. So again, thank you for having me here today and I look forward to seeing all you accomplish here in our great state. So thank you very much. And finally, before the big anticipated cutting of the ribbon, Senator Welch. You know, it's, it's nice to be at something as positive as what is happening today. <laughs> There's a little bit of bad news out there in the world, and we got some good news here today. Uh, Molly, I want to thank you uh, for your just a really long-time commitment to uh, the betterment of the refugee community and the energy you put into making this happen. Uh, I think I speak for all of us. Team I give you. Uh, and as well, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, and you've given the thanks, but I want to acknowledge it as well. Um, and Governor, I can't tell you, it's so wonderful to hear you speak about uh, the Vermont orientation uh, towards refugees. Uh, and that's a battle in our country and in Vermont. There's been a spirit of uh, opening and welcomeness and an appreciation that it's not just a, a, a salutation, welcome. It requires effort, follow through, work. Uh, helping folks make that adjustment from a country that is far away uh, in a language that's totally different and to navigate the very practical day-to-day -day challenges. Uh, so I thank you for your words and I thank you, Governor, uh, for your commitment. Uh, and you speak, I think, for Vermont when you say that. Uh, the other thing I just want to mention that we haven't talked a lot about is there's an obligation here. There's something special with respect uh, to Afghanistan, where we had our uh, men and women in uniform uh, for 20 years, and they were uh, dependent on the services of many uh, Afghanis who uh, risked life and limb uh, to be of assistance to our men and women uh, in uniform. And one of the qualities of our uh, military that I have so admired uh, is that they don't leave one of their comrades behind. And it has been the advocacy of many of our service members who've spoken out about their experiences with Afghani interpreters or Afghanis that they met along the way. Uh, who made the difference in their life and in their death, and who spoke with great eloquence about the character, uh, the service, uh, the dignity uh, of the Afghanis that were working with us, and who by working with us, by the way, uh, put themselves uh, in, in significant peril. So that spirit that our service members have of not leaving one of theirs behind, they've imbued that in us, uh, in this organization to acknowledge the special responsibility that we have to folks who helped our men and women in service along the way. So there is a special bond here, and you know, Vermont uh, in these conflicts uh, has paid a big price. You know, early in both the war in Iraq and in Afghanistan, we lost as a per capita percentage more uh, than any other state. And there's a spirit in Vermonters of service uh, in the military, uh, and there's a spirit from that of acknowledging the responsibility we have to the Af Afghani refugees uh, who have been so helpful to us. So uh, for the ongoing commitment that this country has uh, to the betterment of our country by benefiting from uh, immigrants who come here, to the special obligation that I believe uh, we have, uh, as, as the United States of America, to uh, the Afghan refugees who were of such great service to our men and women in the military. Uh, I'm thrilled to be here at this very special day 
where the work begins. Thank you. Okay, now the moment we've all been waiting for. Um, and we can't wait to have everyone inside for tea and cookies and to show you our modest but gritty, hardworking space and office. Um, I'm going to invite Drukshan up, uh, Wazir up, Tracy, if you'd like to join us, Governor, we've got a big task for you, Senator Welch, um, Siamoy, please, Yasin, if you'd like to join us, the staff and the board, we need to move this. Yeah. This right mighty podium. That my big, my yeah. big task? That's your big task. Yes, exactly. That's why we invited you. Yeah. I, I can do this. that. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, Governor, we will have you here. Okay. Senator next to him. We're going to have this kind of like a, maybe you want to angle in a little bit. We're going to get cozy. Simway, come on up. Yasin. 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 do you want to join? Yes? Okay. Okay. If we get, we're gonna get really close here. Really close. Do you want to hold the ribbon? Really close. Um, yes. If you get behind, um, do you want to stand here and hold them this side? Okay. So first, we we'll get the ribbon set up. Yeah. Let's get the ribbon set up first. And we have a, a special. Um, this is our first ribbon cutting ceremony. It's a little fusion Afghan Vermont fusion. Yeah. So, if since we have multilingual people here, if you prefer Pashto. You can say Dre Tua Yawa in Pashtu 321 for the countdown. If you prefer Dari, you can say Se Du Yak in Dari. And the rest of us, we can say it in English. Not a problem. But before we start the countdown, and before we. Molly, we have yes. We have the scissors. Have the scissors. <laughs> but before we start. Okay, wait, 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 wait. No, we're not going to cut. It's, it, it's a, before we cut the ribbon, as a custom back home, when we start or to start something good, before that we say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, which means in the name of merciful and kind God. So once I say it, then everyone start counting down, and then we cut the ribbon. How about that? Can you tell us the second step forward just a little the bit? The second one, the second one? Here. say, one do, do yeah. yeah. You can hold, yeah. hold on. Yeah. 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 And okay. uh, Yasin, you want to hold a piece of the ribbon? Yeah. 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 Yes. OK. OK. Ready? So I'll say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, say, do, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not magicians. You know, no, no, I know. He's usually there, calls me every night. Oh, he's going to the He did uh, the whole entire family on the I was there off and on for a few, maybe uh, just after the Taliban fell in 2001, the two January, February, March.